Hi guys, this week I'm California dreaming and tasting a classy Chardonnay. Well, almost. Coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Big On Wine, the show that brings you news, clues and reviews about, yes, everything in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is an interesting one, and it's this one here. It's Bon Terra Chardonnay, and the vintage is 2015. And this comes in where I am for just under 15 euro a bottle. Okay, now, as many of you will be aware, I'm not a fantastic fan of American wines, except for, of course, everything produced by Charles Smith up there in Washington State. But I found a good one here today. Bon Terra Chardonnay 2015 is from Mendocino County in Northern California. Now, we all know that California has suffered from forest fires over the last few weeks and Mendocino County is no exception to this but uh, hasn't suffered as badly as Sonoma and Napa further south. Mendocino County is roughly 200 uh, kilometers or so north northwest of San Francisco up US 101 the Pacific Highway. Now, Mendocino County is famous not only for its wine production, but also for its redwoods and a rather liberal take on marijuana as well. Mm. OK, but here we're dealing with wine. And this uh, Bonterra Chardonnay is North Coast AVA, American Viticultural Area. And the North Coast area there is climatically quite diverse and also famous for its organic wine production, and this is no exception. This is an organic Chardonnay, or is it? In fact, this is a blend. It goes under the name of Chardonnay, but in fact, it's a blend of uh, several grape varieties, the Chardonnay, the Roussan, the Viognier, and the Muscat. So a blend of four different varieties. It's a dry wine. Uh, with a roughly four grams per liter of residual sugar. So very, very dry indeed. And comes in, as I said, for a good price where I am for under 15 euro a bottle. Now in the glass, this has a wonderful golden, uh, wonderful sparkling golden color to it. Absolutely fantastic looking in the glass with the sunlight shining in through my windows here. Really superb in the glass there organically produced wine. In the nose, um, it has a very, very open, broad aroma. Um, not so much the citrusy elements are to the fore here, but I would say the kind of toasty, oaky aroma comes through and I'm getting ripe fruits. Uh, in the nose here. Ripe, almost tropical fruits, I would say, in the nose. And a hint of oak, of course. Okay, let's try this uh, wine in the mouth now. Oh yes, this is a wine I can live with very easily indeed. Um, Okay, the oakiness is there, but it's not too heavy. I have to say that with Chardonnay, sometimes I find the oakiness a little too much, but this one here is very nicely controlled. So there's oakiness there, a creaminess, a toastiness from the oak. But underneath that, there is a very, very nice palette of uh, exotic fruits. Now, this wine has only four grams of residual sugar, but the actual flavors almost appear sweeter than they really are. So I'm getting honeydew melon, wonderful honeydew melon, um, maybe even a touch of pineapple, something like that. Sweet apple, maybe 
Um, but all in all, an excellent blend of exotic fruits, a little touch of sweetness there, um, an oaky, citrusy finish. Um, all in all, a very nicely balanced and well-made wine with a wonderful selection of ripe fruit flavours. Okay, now, what is this going to be good with? Well, I would say this is the ideal accompaniment to pink-fleshed fish. So we're talking here salmon, sea trout, rainbow trout. How about uh, grilled tuna, for example? Uh, turkey as well would work extremely well, I think. Okay, now you're going to be serving this around about the 10 or 11 degree mark, I think. So, you know, give the bottle a good 45 minutes or so in the fridge from room temperature. Very, very surprisingly good wine there. So let me bring you the heads up on this one. This is Bonterra Chardonnay. 2015 vintage. It is in fact a blend of four different white uh, grape varieties. It has extremely nice exotic uh, fruits in there. The melon, pineapple, apple is a wonderful combination. Good acids. Um, this is going to be excellent with uh, pink fleshed fish. I'm going to give this wine four stars out of five. <laughs> Okay, folks, many, many thanks for taking the time to watch today's video and this little introduction to the pride of Mendocino County, the Bon Terra Chardonnay. I'm going to be back again next week with another great wine of the week, of course. But if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard today, please do give us a big thumbs up. And of course, you can always subscribe by hitting that big red button up there in the top left hand corner of your screens. This is Tony Melville signing off for now and saying, hey, be good to each other. Take care, enjoy your wines, and cheers.